welcome back welcome to this awareness course where we have 30 days schedule and on daily basis we are covering one topic i'm sure it is easy to spare 15 20 minutes on daily basis so that we can at least go through few things and we can learn few new things also right so we'll begin with safety talk we'll go through three subtopics today's subtopics after these uh, explanations then we'll go through the quiz we will have 20 mcq questions along with correct answers we'll have explanations also so don't forget to share with your friends don't forget to subscribe also look into the description box where a lot of links have been given you can go through the links you can navigate through the content uh, published on this youtube channel and on epc land right a lot of videos courses free and paid both a lot of quizzes are there right articles are there you can go through that if you like the content don't forget to share with your friends so let's begin let's welcome our friend mr peter who will explain the today's topic so first begin with the safety talk so let's start hello everyone today's safety talk is about eye protection and safety goggles usage to safeguard your eyes at work wear goggles when needed Always wear safety goggles when there's a risk of flying debris, chemicals, or harmful radiation. Your eyes are precious, so protect them. Proper fit is essential. Ensure your safety goggles fit properly and provide adequate coverage for your eyes. Goggles that don't fit well won't offer the right protection. Keep goggles clean. Keep your safety goggles clean and free from scratches. Clean goggles provide clear vision allowing you to work, to work safely and effectively. Never remove in hazardous areas. Avoid taking off your safety goggles, even for a moment, in hazardous areas. You never know when an accident might happen. Replace damaged goggles. If your safety goggles are damaged or worn out, replace them immedi immediately. Damaged goggles won't provide the required protection. Be a safety role model. Encourage your colleagues to wear eye protection too. Being a safety role model helps create a safer workplace for everyone. Hello everyone, welcome back to our ASME B31.330 Day Beginner Course. In today's session, we'll be diving into the topic of flange assembly requirements for leak testing. This is a crucial step in ensuring the integrity of a piping system. Let's understand the key aspects. Flange assembly for leak testing involves several important steps to ensure a secure and leak-free joint. Here's how it works. Inspection Before assembling the flange joints, it's essential to inspect them thoroughly. Check for any damage, defects, or misalignments that could compromise the integrity of the joint. Gasket selection Choosing the right gasket material is crucial. Consider factors such as fluid service, temperature, and pressure conditions to select a gasket that will provide an effective seal. Bolting and torquing. Proper bolting procedures are necessary to achieve the correct bolt load. Follow recommended torque values to ensure a uniform compression of the gasket. Flange face alignment. Accurate alignment of flange faces is important to create a uniform sealing surface. Misalignment can lead to uneven pressure distribution and potential leaks. Lubrication Apply lubrication to the flange bolts and nuts before torquing. This helps achieve accurate and consistent bolt loading and ensures a tight joint. Testing medium and pressure Select the appropriate testing medium, liquid or gas, and apply the specified test pressure according to industry standards. Testing duration, maintain the test pressure for the recommended duration. This allows us to observe how the joint performs under sustained conditions. Visual inspection, after testing, perform a visual inspection of the flat joint. Look for any signs of leakage, deformation, or other issues. Remember, a proper flange assembly is essential to prevent leaks and ensure the safety and reliability of the piping system. In our next session, we'll explore the detailed process of conducting a flange leakage test test. Stay tuned as we continue our journey through essential piping practices.
Hello everyone, and welcome back to our ASME B31.330 Day Beginner Course. In today's session, we will discuss the important topic of conducting a flange leakage test. This step is crucial in ensuring the integrity and safety of the piping system. Let's dive into the details. Conducting a flange leakage test involves several key steps to ensure that the assembled joint can withstand the specified pressure without any leaks. Let's go through these steps. Test setup. Before conducting the test, make sure the flange joint is assembled according to the specified requirements, including the proper installation of gaskets, bolts, and nuts. Test medium. Choose the appropriate test medium based on the application and design requirements. It can be either a liquid or gas, depending on the system's characteristics. Pressure application. Gradually apply the test pressure to the flange joint using a suitable pump or equipment. This helps simulate the operational conditions. Pressure holding. Maintain the test pressure for the specified duration. This allows you to observe whether there is any leakage from the joint under sustained pre pressure. Visual inspection. During the test, carefully visually inspect the flange joint for any signs of leakage, deformation, or other irregularities. Soap solution or bubble test. To detect leaks, you can apply a soap solution or use a bubble test method. Look for any bubbles forming, as they indicate potential leakage points. Record observations. Keep a record of your observations during the test. Note any pressure fluctuations, locations of leaks, or any other significant findings. Test conclusion. Once the test is complete, analyze the results. Determine whether the flange joint passes or fails the leakage test based on the observed performance. In our next session, we will explore the interpretation of test results. Stay tuned as we continue our journey through essential piping practices. Hello everyone and welcome back to our ASME B31.330 Day Beginner Course. In today's session, we will delve into the crucial topic of interpretation of test results. After conducting tests, it's essential to understand how to analyze and interpret the data gathered. Let's explore further. Interpreting test results is a critical step in ensuring the integrity and reliability of a piping system. Let's discuss the key aspects. Review recorded data. Before making any conclusions, carefully review all the data recorded to test. This includes pressure readings, temperature changes, and any other relevant observations. Comparative analysis. Compare the collected data with expected values or baseline measurements. Identify any variations or anomalies that may indicate issues. Leakage assessment. Analyze the results to determine if there were any leakages. If leaks are detected, assess their severity, location, and potential impact on the system. Pressure behavior. Study the behavior of pressure throughout the test. Look for patterns such as sudden pressure, dr pressure drops, fluctuations, or consistent pressure holding. Visual inspection. Conduct a thorough visual inspection of the flange joint. Check for any visible signs of leakage, deformation, or unusual conditions. Bubble test confirmation. If a soap solution or bubble test was employed, confirm the presence of bubbles at potential leakage points. Correlation with standards. Compare the test results with industry standards and guidelines. Ensure that the system's performance aligns with the expected parameters. Documentation and reporting. Record your findings and interpretations meticulously in a comprehensive report. Clearly outline any identified issues and their significance. End video. In our next session, we will explore the usage of expansion joints. Stay tuned as we continue our journey through essential piping knowledge and practices.
by this we are done with today's topic we had safety talk we had a discussion on three subtopics quiz correct answers and their explanations so we are having 30 days schedule with us we are covering one topic a day so i'm sure 15 20 minutes we can spare on daily basis so that we can go through the content don't forget to share with your friends so that everybody gets to know at least few uh, new things don't forget to subscribe so that you get the latest updates we are going to launch many more awareness courses on this channel so it is if you are sub subscribing to this channel you will get the regular updates also don't forget to look into the description box where a lot of new links are given you can navigate through available courses free and paid both a lot of videos playlist quizzes which are published on uh, epc land so go through these links if you find something useful you can share with your friends also so by this we are going to cover rest of the topics also we'll tomorrow also we'll start with safety talk then we'll uh, have an explanation to these three subtopics then we'll have quiz along with the correct answers we'll have explanations so stay tuned keep learning thank you for watching